good and it was a great day right for fleet it week it's starting oh off today yeah. Yeah. kicking off the annual parade of ships in new york harbor thousands of sailors marines members of the coast guard all in town for the 30th annual event even president trump and his staff getting a glimpse as marine one flew overhead today meteorologist amy freeze with some of the best viewing of the ships on the west side amy Wow, what a day. The weather turns just right. We've got sailboats. We've got all kinds of vessels and ships. It all means one thing, that it is Fleet Week. I'm aboard right now the U.S. Um, Richard Snyder Cutter, and this is the brand new actually a month a month ago it was uh, brought to action and it's one of the featured ships that'll be right here at the Intrepid. It's all part of the festivities that get underway today. 14 ships glide into New York for the 29th annual Fleet Week. Fleet Week here in New York City, it's the quintessential moment to be able to say thank you to our troops, to the men and women who serve our country every day for our freedoms that we take so much for granted. A mom and dad from Flemington, New Jersey are patiently waiting for their son, Petty Officer Brian Comandino. It was so exciting to see my son on the ship. It was really, uh, the whole thing was, was breathtaking. I think it's a good chance for the public to see uh, these ships. You know, they don't have really good access to, to our ships, Navy ships. Uh, so it's good to them see it and, and learn about them more, and it brings the community together, I think. Among the Coast Guard sailors, there are those who have never even been to New York City. Just see the sights, you know, New York's very uh, overwhelming with all the big buildings and whatnot, so uh, all the standard stuff like the Freedom Tower and, and checking out Statue of Liberty and Times Square, I'm sure. Some crew members, this is their first time pulling into New York, and they sailed in past the Statue of Liberty. Like, I. I can't like imagine seeing New York City for the first time like that. Besides the patriotism and pride of having these big ships dock, there are activities all over the city for men and women in service, and the public is invited to get on board the ships for free. Everyone's real excited to be here, uh, be part of this, this the Fleet Week, because it's an opportunity for us to showcase what we do. The Richard Snyder Cutter commissioned less than a month ago is one of the ships that the public can actually board. Starting tomorrow, it's right here at Pier 86 near the Intrepid. Just happy to be in New York, happy, uh... Beautiful day out. We lucked out with the weather, and uh, it's great to see my parents. Good to see my city again. So, welcome home. Thank you. What a day it is on the Hudson to kick off at Fleet Week. By the way, the activities go both ways. While you can come on board the ships, also the service men and women also go out into the city. So. If you find a match that you like, you might want to bring them right back here to the Intrepid. They're doing a movie night on Friday night. They're showing Top Gun. And oh. it's free.